What's up, everybody? I fucked your head ten like a ti is. Uh, I heard some. I fuck. That was. This is gonna be sound messed up. I saw a video talking about how the media. Now I see that everybody's been set up on Mark on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, saying the media's been lying. The media's been lying. The police been lying. The media's been lying all damn day. And I sat there and I was kind of kind of blown away. And I said, y'all finally noticed that? Y'all finally realized that the media's been lying to y'all from the get-go that they've been saying this stuff? Y'all finally realized that the media's been lying to everybody and y'all really want to wake up and start saying it now? Oh, you been lying to everybody. You been lying to everybody. You been lying to Y'all just now noticing that? Y'all just now noticing that. And I've been telling that. Don't believe everything you hear or see on the media. Because they're going to lie to y'all. I've been saying that. Ain't nobody ain't nobody wanting to believe me. Everybody wants to say, oh, Joe quit being, Afro Joe quit being a Riri. Da 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 da. Quit being a Riri. Nah, nah, nah. Quit being a damn Riri. No, I'm telling the truth. And in the last damn video, I just sat there and told them, just sit there and say it. Just with that said, you can't tell who was in that video when they showed it. Because why? Because the video didn't get a good description because that video was shit. That video wasn't going to show the per what the person looked like. All the video was going to show is blurry. You can't trust video cameras from a convenience store. They're going to give a terrible picture. Only thing you can tell on it is what the per the color of the person, what's the nationality, and what they're wearing. That's it. You can't give no description on the face. You can't. You won't. And I sit up there and I, and I question this is because people keep believing, oh, that's Michael Brown. That's my no, it's not. Find out there was never Michael Brown. Michael Brown was never in that store. The owner of this store and his lawyer went to the media and told the media, Michael Brown was never in my store. I never met him, never seen him. He was never in my store. Now, you got the store owner saying this today, that Michael Brown was never in my store. Saying, it in his, saying that Michael Brown was never in his store. Now, if the owner says that Michael Brown was never in his store, why did the media say he was in the store? Is the question. Answer that. Answer that. For real. Answer that. The owner says, uh, Michael Brown was never in my store. Never seen him in my store. He never came into my store. But you got the media telling everybody that Michael Brown was in his store. Now that's why people are rioting because what the media told you. And y'all believe that. Y'all believe what that media <laughs> what the media told you. And it's a bunch of bullshit that you believe what they say. I wouldn't believe what y'all believe what the media t has told you. And I sit there for the longest and don't believe everything you hear from the media because the media is going to lie. And what y'all do, y'all believe everything that came from the media. And then there was a registered nurse on the scene saying, asking the police, let me do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on him. Don't you know the police told him to fuck off? Why don't the police tell a registered nurse to show, show that he was a, he or she was a registered nurse and let him do CPR? Why would you tell him to fuck off? It's the question. I'm going to put a video in the description so y'all can watch. But the question is this, man. I've sat here for the longest, told people never believe what you hear from the media because they're going to fucking lie to you. And the police lie to you. Now, this was a dead giveaway right here. The day he got shot, we were still, up, we were people still upset about the Eric Gardner story, about the guy in New York City. Eric Gardner was the guy in New York City that was choked to death by a police officer. That was still an open wound. Then we found out 
this young man, Michael Brown, was shot in the middle of the street. In the middle of the street now. And you're seeing everybody on you're seeing everybody overboard. Now now hear me out, hear me out, ladies and gentlemen, hear me out. The story goes like this. They say Michael Brown answered the convenience store. We can never tell. We didn't know if that was Michael Brown or not. All we knew was a black person wearing a hat. The wrong color hat and he was wearing Jordans. Michael Brown was wearing flip flop. How did he change his clothes so fast? See what I'm saying? Qu ask, ask that question. How did Michael Brown change his clothes so fast? And the second thing is, uh, but to continue with the story, they said he was walking down the street with his friends. There was four of them. Michael Brown and three of his friends walking down the street. Police stomped them. Now, I ain't hear no police identify themselves. Said he stomped them told him to get out the street. I was like, okay. The witness that, that was with Michael Brown said, police told him to get the fuck out the street. And the police officer said that Brown went for his gun West and, went and shot in the car. And if he shot the car, shot, shot, uh, made the gun go off in his car, where's the bullet hole in his car? And what really got me was Even I'm not a police officer, but it's awfully strange. It's awfully strange. A police officer pulls over four black kids in the neighborhood on the other side of town, and he didn't ask for backup. Now, when you now, if you're a police officer, you ought to know when you dealing with more than one civilian. What do you do? You call for backup. That man didn't reach for his radio. Reach for his radio and call for backup. Why ain't nobody questioning? Hey, let me listen to the, uh, the radio, the recording of the radio about him radio in for backup. Let me listen to the radio about him asking, calling for backup. I bet you won't hear it. I bet you will say, I bet they'll say, oh, they lost it. They lost the recording of the tape for their police officer asking for backup. For real. I bet they would. I bet they would. I bet they would. I bet they would. And you, you probably want to watch Trayvon Pitcher now. Oh, I'll get to the Trayvon Pitcher later. But here's, here's what I don't get, ladies and gentlemen. Four black kids walking down the street. Police stops them. Tells them to get out the street. Cop shoots one of them dead. Where's the other police officers there? How come he didn't radio in for backup? Then they said the cop didn't recognize Brown because of the convenience store robbery. Robbery? If somebody takes an item from the store with no weapon, that's not armed robbery. That's shoplifting. If somebody has a weapon and walks into a convenience store, that's when you call it armed robbery. See what I'm saying? That's the difference between armed robbery and shoplifting. If you got a weapon and you walk into the store, that's armed robbery. If you walk into the store and you have no weapon, that's shoplifting. Now Michael Brown wasn't in the store, so he didn't so he got killed for nothing. Now they can sit there and say, Oh, Michael Brown shot the police officer. Well, the video shows different when the police that killed Brown was standing over him, not in the hospital for a bullet wound or something else, not even hurt. His body sat there. His body sat there. Brown's body sat in that position for four fucking hours. Four hours, man. Four hours. Why is his body laying there for four hours and no sheet to cover his body saying it was a murder? They left his body uncovered. He lay there for four hours. And it made no sense now. Didn't I say, I said in the last video I did about this story. Watch them sit up there and trying to make this boy look like a thief. Watch them trying to make this boy look like a thug. Watch them badmouth this boy and he is dead. And y'all wonder why I got the Trayvon picture sitting up. 
I said the same damn thing about Trayvon. I said, watch them badmouth Trayvon Martin. He's dead. He can't defend himself. They watch him call him a thug and all this badmouthing him, you know, and he's dead. It's awfully funny, ain't it? Kind of similar story. Kind of. I, said, I ain't say fully similar. I said kind of similar. Kind of in a way. So he got caught, killed by uh, uh, vigilante. He got killed by a vigilante. He got killed by a police officer. Now, the funny thing about the Trayvon Martin story, he got in a fight, got suspended three times out of school, but he didn't break no law. Got in a fight in school, suspended three times, but he didn't break no law. George Zimmerman broke the law several times. He's got a rap sheet longer than my arm. But this boy called a bad name. Said he was a thug, this and that, this and that, this and that. Made him look bad. But Zimmer's got the rap sheet. See how the media works. See how the police works. They made Trayvon Martin look like a bad guy, and he's dead. Same with Michael Brown. The media and the police trying to make him look bad. Look what happened. The stories are slipping up. People are coming out the woodwork. Now you go look for that video about about Brown. I'm um, not Brown. Go go look for that video about the store clerk, not store clerk, but the store owner saying that Brown was never in his store. Go look it up. Find it. Look it up. Po if you find it, post it everywhere you can post. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flick, whatever you got. Post it up. Instagram, Fartagram, Vine, whatever. Posted everywhere when that store owner said, I ain't never seen Brown in my store, he never came in my store, and I ain't never met him in my store. Now, I bet you they'll backtrack that story on Brown. Backtrack that story. Say, oh, he's a good, I bet you'll turn around and say, oh, he's a good kid. Like, I, I'll tell you this, I was on Facebook. Don't you know? Facebook, a guy recorded CNN of the store owner's. Uh, lawyer on on the show saying, "Oh, the store owner said he never, he was never there. He was never in my shop." Ain't this something else? Awfully funny. Not funny, but awfully something else. Ain't this something? Ain't this something else? Kid gets killed. Wasn't even in the store. Wasn't even in the store. Gets killed for no apparent reason. Wasn't in the store. And look how they did it. Look how they did it. Look how they did it. Now, pay attention to this. He's probably, where you get your information? There's a guy named Dick Gregory. A guy named Dick Gregory. He's an activist and a comedian. He's like, Dick Gregory, I remember that guy. Yeah, he was in my he was in a couple of videos I did. Especially what I did at Trayvon Martin one. Now now here's the funny part now. When Dick when I listened to Dick Gregory and he talked about Tray uh, Trayvon Martin case, he mentioned he mentioned the videotape the videotape that they never showed the videotape they waited a year and two months to show that Trayvon Martin was in that store they waited a year and two months to show that he was in that store why did they wait a year and two months to show that Trayvon Martin was in that convenience store buying some Skittles, buying Skittles and some tea. Question that: Why did the media wait that long to show that? A year and one, and no, a year and two months. Question that. Same is with Michael Brown. Why did they wait till last minute to show that video? to say he was in the store 
knowing that he was never in that store? Why did they wait till the last minute to tell them anything? And it's all for funny, ain't it? They, they, and y'all sit up here and y'all paid attention to what the media want to tell you. The media's going to tell you a bunch of bullshit lies. I, I don't believe what the media tells me. The media can be sitting at, the media can say the, the sky's blue, the grass is green. And y'all motherfuckers believe it. Oh, the sky's blue, the grass is green. Lord Jesus, Jesus is here. That's Jesus right there. And there's some, oh, they go out. This whole time I've been lying. And the funny thing about this is, not the funniest, but the fuck the thing about this is, <clears throat> they never showed. That, that it's like this. When a convenience store, when a convenience store has video, what happens? There's a time stamp on that video. A time stamp. You know what a time stamp is? It tells you what day, what month, and what year it was. It tells you what time it was. And you never saw it. You never saw the day, the time, the the timestamp on that video. But they say it. That video. That video came out that week. That video was back in June. June, come on now, June. That video that they showed all over the media happened in June. Happened in June, not this year, not this month. But they wanted to sit up there and say, "Oh, this video came out in in this month." But it came out in June, damn it! Why would you post a video say this video came out this month, but it came out in June? That that makes no sense. Came out in June, and they said it came out in this, in this month. Come on, people, tell me something. It never makes no sense that they gonna lie and tell you the video came out in August, but it came out in June. Why would you lie about that? So, and and why would you turn down a person that wanted to give the boy CPR? Why would you turn that down? Why would you tell them to fuck off? And y'all are sitting up there rioting and all this shit because what the media told you? What the media has said? That makes no sense. So if the media told you the sky is green but the grass is blue, you believe what they say, right? I know I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe a damn thing that the media had to say. But I forgot people want to listen to what the media has to say. They want to believe these bullshit, cockamamie, fucked up stories. Let me say it again. Bullshit, cockamamie, fucked up stories. Why would you believe anything the media has to say? And I wouldn't. That's that's bullshit on, on that. I wouldn't believe anything. You know why? Because I ain't stupid. I ain't going to believe what the media has to tell me. That's some fucked up bullshit. And, and, I, and like I said, I don't get it. Why? I sat here for the longest question these people why would you believe what the media tells you why would you believe every anything that the media tells you that makes no sense I want y'all to tweet this tumble this facebook it everything because I this is why this is why I'm saying this. The reason why I'm saying this is because if y'all do this, I want people to go out, find that tape of the owner saying, I ain't never seen 
I ain't never seen uh, I ain't never seen I want to I want you to find the tape with the with the owner said I ain't never seen uh, 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 Michael Brown in my store. That's what I want to post it up everywhere where you can post it so people will know. Hey, they lied. They said that he was in the store and he was never in the store. That's how. I, that, that's what I got to say. But as, as, and it's kind of fucked up that they say this shit. They say this. But I want like I said, I'm put the description, uh, the video in the description box. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my channel, Philo Junior Two, Philo Junior Three. And you tell me what you think about this story. Peace, love, and Africa.